Now, from Hollywood, Romance. Transcribed. It's eight years almost to the day. Eight years of steaming heat and wind in this desolate wasteland of the Mojave Desert. Eight years of waiting and dwindling hopes. Now, with Robert Bailey as Jim, Virginia Gregg as Katie, and Charlotte Lawrence as Stella, we present E. Jack Newman's dramatic adaptation of Het Mannheim's short story, The Fling. It's all right, honey. It's all right. It's just the wind. Oh. What time is it? It must be about three. You need your rest, Katie. Go to sleep now. Jim, I was just thinking of the night we met at the Elks Dance in Carver. Do you remember? Of course I remember. Oh, I was very pretty, wasn't I? You've always been pretty, Katie. If I hadn't gotten sick... What do you think we'd be doing oh, now? Oh, Katie, please go to sleep now. You miss home, don't you, Jim? This is home now. The Mojave Desert's as good as Carver, Indiana. Look, all I want is for you to get well. Do you think I ever will, Jim? Sure you will, Katie. It just takes time. I love you, Jim. Mm. You're wonderful to me, and I love you. And I love you. Good night, Kitty. Good night. Hi, Stringer. Whoa, hi. Hi, Pop. How's it going? Okay, Jim. How's it with you? How's Catherine? Huh? Oh, uh, she's so so. Not so good, huh? About the same. Catherine's a fine woman, Jim, just about the best. I sure wish I could do something for her. I sure do. Oh, you do enough, Pop. We'll never forget it. Can I get you something? Well, sure hard. How about a Coke? Sure. Cool your bells with that, boy. Yeah. It's good. Pop? Oh, Pop. Yeah? What kind of a place are you running here? I can't find the aprons anywhere. Hey, what's all this? Surprised, huh? Sure. New waitress. Blew in last night for coffee, and I hired her just like that. Oh. I'm no fool, huh? Some dog. I've been looking high and low, Pop, and I... Oh. This is Jim, Stella. Friend of mine. Stella Kalish, Jim. Hello, Stella. Well, hello, Jim. Nice to meet you. You were looking for what back there? I was looking for an apron, Pop. You know, apron. Oh. Till I get a uniform, I'll have to work in this skirt and sweater, and I don't want to ruin it. Sweater set me back three bucks last week. I kind of like the sweater, honey bunch. Be ashamed to cover it all up with an apron. <laughs> Where are the aprons, Pop? I think they just came back from the laundry yesterday. I'll unpack them for you, kiddo. Thanks. Nice old coot, isn't he? Oh, Pop's the best. You, uh, live somewhere around here, Jim? Yeah, yeah. Seven miles that way. Lord, out in the desert, huh? Yeah, right smack in the middle of it. In a brick shack. Must get pretty warm. It sure does. I've had eight years of it. I must say you don't look like a desert rat. Neither do you. I hope not. How did you happen to land here with Pop? Oh, I just flapped my little old wings, and when they got tired, this is where I was perched. I'll bet they miss you wherever you flapped in from. I don't think they miss anybody in San Berdu. Some town, that was. But I got a theory. I always say if you don't like a place, leave it. Yeah, well, that's a pretty nice thing to be able to say, Stella. What's the matter? You staked down? Well, there's a 
climate's supposed to be good for my wife. Oh. Got a wife, huh? Yeah. She's sick of something? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. You, uh, take care of yourself, do you? Uh-huh. Washing and cooking and everything? Yeah, well, someone has to do it. Well, that's the breaks, I guess. Eight years, huh? Yeah. She ought to be getting well pretty soon. Give me a nickel. For the Cokes? For fun. Thanks. A little music goes a long way in a joint like this. Yeah. Not very lively, is it? Oh, I don't know. There was room, I'd ask you for a little dance. Well, if there was room, I would dance. And you wouldn't have to ask me. <laughs> I couldn't find the aprons either, Stella. Oh, the heck with the apron, Pop. I ought to have a nice, cool uniform right away, anyhow. Okay, sugar, I'll be a sport and buy you one. Something with a low neckline, eh, Jim? Oh, cut it out, Pop. You'll make me blush. Oh, oh, oh. the day you bust down in the blush, I'll be an old man with whiskers down to my knees, honey, boy. <laughs> oh, Pop. Oh, Stella. <laughs> I, uh, I better get going. Oh, well, don't rush off. The party's just getting rough. Yeah, Jim, don't rush off, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, Stella. Oh, same here, Jim, old boy. Drop in any time. This is the classiest mud hole you'll ever find. Jim, huh? give my very best to Catherine. Tell her I love her. Oh, she knows that, Pa, but I'll tell her just the same. Don't forget. Okay. Well, uh, so long. Take it easy. So long. I thought I heard the car drive up. How long have you been home? Just got here. How's it going? Fine. Got a little worried when you were gone so long. Well, I had to go to the post office and get a money order. The premium on my life insurance was due. Then I stopped by Dr. Maples. I got some things for you. How is about out? I think they'll keep a little better in here. I'm looking all over for these things. What? Oh, the cartridges? Yeah, I saw some snakes out by the water tank. Where's the gun, Kitty? In the drawer, dear. Oh, that darn thing's stuck. You aren't going out now? No, no, I just want to put these in with a gun. <coughs> Gotta fix that. You hungry? Mm, just a little bit. I picked up some lettuce and things. How about a nice salad for dinner? That's fine. I had a dream this afternoon, Jim. Yeah? What'd you dream about, Kitty? I dreamt we were back in Carver. And the trees were green. And the grass was damp and it smelled fresh. Oh, I could just smell the grass, Jim. Mm -hmm. And I heard water. I guess it was a stream. No wind. Just the sound of water. Yeah. Well, we'll be there again someday, honey. Did Dr. Maple show you my new x-rays? Yeah, yeah, he did. About the same, Katie. No better, huh? No worse. Oh. <laughs> oh, here, Jim. here now, honey. Easy. I'm... I'm nothing to you this way. Katie, please. You need someone with life. No, and... now, Katie, would you please? Oh, Jim, I do love you so. Please. Katie. Don't ever leave me. Ever. No, dear. No, no. <laughs> Hi. Is that you, Jim? Yeah. Where's Pop? Buying grub. I'm trying to fix my hair. I'll be there in a second. Take your time. I'm in no hurry. Who is around here? That's all there is. Time. Whew. What a hot hole this turned out to be. 
Not so bad lately. Oh, you just say that. You've got to stay here. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that, Oh, it's Jim. okay. You didn't say anything, Stella. It's okay. I'm always yakking. <sighs> Hot, ain't it? Yeah. Want a little music? Mm, I'm getting sick of it. Hey, mm? how'd you like to take a ride down to San Bredu sometime and have a couple of drinks, huh? With you? Sure. What's the matter with me? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Well, how about it? How would you like to do it? Give you a chance to look at some fresh scenery? I came from there, remember? How about tonight? Say, you really mean it, don't you? Why not? I'll tell you what, Jim boy. I'll let you know. You come around after nine when Pop goes to bed. Okay? Okay. Okay, Stella. We will return to romance and our story, The Fling, in just a moment. Let's get practical. Uncle Sam pays you dollars and cents when you help him by salting away United States savings bonds. It's the best way of saving with the surest return. What a wonderful way to help yourself and help America, too. And now, for the second act of The Fling, as we return to romance. Al Brennan. Went to school with him? Yeah. You have to be there any special time? No, no, but I want to get there. You can understand it, can't you? Sure, Jim. Oh, look, I never go anywhere or do anything. In a minute, I want to take a little trip to San Bernardino to meet an old friend. I get the question treatment. I'm sorry, dear. What? Oh, I'm sorry, kid. You look nice, Jim. Oh, thanks. Now, you'll be all right while I'm gone, won't you? Oh, sure. What time will you be home? I don't... Oh, probably after midnight. Hey, look, you get to sleep here. Uh-huh. Well, uh, good night. Good night. Have a good time with your friend. All right, Kitty. Stella? Stella? Hey, baby, it's me, Jim. Hi. Hi. Right on time. Yeah, come on, we better hurry before Pop wakes up. Pop! Who, who is it, Stella? Jim! Yeah, I thought he was in bed. He was out wrong, kiddo. Jimmy, Jimmy, boy, just a minute I want to see. Get him a glass, Stella, and we'll all have a drink together. Hey, you, you two been having quite a time, huh? We sure have. Get in here. <laughs> we sure have, huh, honey bunch? Pop's been fighting the battle of Shadow Terry since 6 o'clock. That ain't the only battle I've been fighting, eh, baby? <laughs> boy, there's a lot of life in him. Yeah. Uh, Stella... <laughs> I know. One for you and one for him. That's right. All the way, baby, all the way to the top. Over the top we went and we really gave it to him, uh, Jimmy boy. Really gave it to him. Here. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, cheers, Pop. Cheers. <sighs> what I got now is nothing. This rat hole out in the middle of nowhere and one lousy medal. You know that, huh? You got a lot, Pop. Yeah. How you talking? Why, you got me, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's 
Right, honey bunch, I got you. <laughs> let's have a ball. Come on, Jim, let's have a ball. What do you say? You and me and Marisol Stelly here. Oh, oh my, I, I, I can't, Pop. So, some other time, maybe. Huh? Oh, no, <laughs> Look, I, I, I got to get back home. Ha! A man's got to get home to the nicest little wife in the world. You cannot. Catherine's the best. I always said that, Jim. You know I'm in it. I know it, Pop. I'm he ain't going home at all, Pop. He came down here to take little Stella to good old Sam Berdu tonight. Why? Yeah. Him and little Stella's got a date. Imagine that, Pop. You what? You got a what? wasn't anything, Pop. Oh, is that so? He's trying to take your little tootsie away from you, Pop. Take care of him. Go on, hit him, Now, look, Pop. wait a minute, Pop. Look, now, you, you both been drinking. I uh, was going down to San Bernardino to get Catherine some things, Pop. I, I just asked Stella here to ride along. That's oh, all. that's a lie, a lousy, stinking lie. You know what he wanted me to do? He wanted me to go to San Bernardino. I with tell him. you, Pop, I was just going down to get some things for Catherine. I'm going to use this bottle on you, boy. I tell you, Catherine needed... Catherine! You ought to be ashamed to mention her name. I'll kill wait you. Up. Let him have it, Bob! Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Let him have it! Pop, Pop, that bottle's dangerous. You Stop dirty your... pig! So what was it to you? Boy, I didn't know, Pop. I'm sorry. Wipe off your face and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going. Come on, Pop. This is my wedding night, and I want you to last long enough to carry me across the threshold. Not until Romeo gets himself out of here. I'm going, Pop. I'm going. Me, a little old blushing bride. Ain't that something? <laughs> Love, honor, and hot dogs with Pop. Come here, you mangy old rat, you. Give us a kiss. <laughs> Somebody who was whole. <laughs> Just for a little while. should be more careful around that place. I told you, kid, it wasn't Pop's fault. He'd already turned out the lights in the lunchroom, and I, I... I ran into a sharp edge on that gas pump on the way out. I... I had no business being there anyhow. You missed your friends, too. Oh, that doesn't matter either. Look, go to sleep, honey. Before I do, Jim, I want to tell you. Yeah, what? It doesn't matter about that place in Switzerland. Probably no better than right here. Please don't worry about it so. Thanks, Kitty. I'm not worrying about anything anymore. Go to sleep. Night.
No. I, I, I just can't take it anymore. Forgive me, Katie, but I just can't take it anymore. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Jim! Jim, what's oh, up? I better go see who it is. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Jim. I know you folks turn in early, but I thought I'd better wake you. You don't need the gun. It's only me. Oh, Earl. Oh, well, come on in, Sheriff. It's Earl Combs, Captain. Hello, Earl. Evening, Catherine. What in the world's wrong? Katie, I think I ought to tell you It that... ain't very pleasant, Catherine. There's been a bad smash-up down at Cajon. Pop Narovny and that new waitress of his are dead. Dead? No. Oh, not Pop. Oh, how terrible. Oh, that's awful. What, what can we do? Anything? Just nobody can do anything. How now. did it happen? Hate to say this. Know how you two like Pop. But I'm afraid they were drinking a little. Oh, how terrible. Poor Pop, I liked him so much. Uh, there's one more thing, Jim. Oh. You'd better go down to Riverside in the morning and see Captain Foote of the Highway Patrol. Captain Foote? Why? We found a veteran's insurance policy for 10000 in Pop's wallet. It's made available to Catherine here. Me? Yes. Guess he liked you a lot. Poor old man. Well, you can go to Switzerland now, can't you? Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh no, easy. Well, yes. folks, I got to be going now. Night, Jim, Katie. Yeah, so long, Earl. Thanks. Poor old Pop. I didn't know he thought that much of me. I did, Katie. What? Katie, there's something I have to tell you tonight when I went by Do Pops. Do you really have to tell me, Jim? Katie, I know. I Jim, would... don't you know what this means? I'm going to be whole again. And yours again. If you want me. Oh, Katie. Listen, Jim. Well, I'll be darned. The wind stopped blowing. It's all gone. <laughs> yeah, Katie. It's all gone. Romance is produced and directed by Fred Mackay. You have heard The Fling, adapted by E. Jack Newman from a short story by Het Mannheim. Robert Bailey was heard as Jim, Charlotte Lawrence as Stella, Herb Butterfield as Pop, Virginia Gregg as Katie, and Ted Bliss as Earl. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to hear Romance, transcribed next week at this same time. CBS Radio's gangbusters have faced all kinds of hazards, but Monday night on most of these stations, they run up against an expert dart thrower in The Case of the Cupid Doll Champ. Stay tuned for Stars Over Hollywood, which follows immediately over most of these stations. This is the CBS Radio Network.